as some of you know, I run a website where I have a list of all sorts of web tools that can be used that don't require registration. Um, I'm going to try and take you through some of my favorites over time here. And so today I'm going to introduce you to Jitsi. It's a free video conferencing tool that does not require any registration and there's no ads and it works easily on most devices, although with uh, Android and iOS uh, phones and tablets, you need to install the free app, but the app does not require any registration either. So it's really simple. Students can then just go there, install the app, you give them the room that they want to go to, and you can have a video conference with them. Audio, video, you can even do all sorts of other things, which I'll try and touch on as we go through this. Uh, so once you get to meet.jit.si, go to the website, then all you need to do is just either hit go and it will use a randomly generated name for it or you can type in your own name and you can hit go and it will create a room. Once you get to the room, you are presented with yourself. Um, it's going to actually, when you first get to the room, it's going to ask you for permission to be able to use your microphone and your webcam. So you need to give permission for that. Once you do that, you end up here. And then uh, at the bottom, you'll notice there are the standard hang up. So you can leave the room, turn on and off the microphone. I'm going to mute that. And you can also turn on and on, turn on and off your camera. So very simple three buttons down there. On the left side of the screen, you would notice that there is share your screen. So if you're in Chrome, you have to uh, add a little add in first to be able to do that. In Firefox, you don't. Um, but you'd be able to share your screen. You can actually choose when you're sharing your screen, which screen to share. So you can actually share, if you have, for example, uh, Word open and you have a document you want to share, you can just share Word. It won't share your whole screen, it will just share Word. Um, you can actually have a thing where you can raise your hand. So if you have multiple people, which you would show up on the right hand side, um, you could raise your hand and everybody would see that you raised your hand. So then you need to, um, maybe you want to speak and there's a large group. Um, you also have a chat box, which you can put in your name and you can then chat with other people and use emojis and so forth. So you have that. And then on the right hand side of the screen, that's where you have the tile. So for example, if you have multiple people on, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, you can actually have them tiled side by side or instead of just having one person up on the screen all the time. Um, you also have the ability to put in a password. So you can add a password and you can also uh, have this dial-in number. So for different countries you can have a phone number that they can call in and use a pin and they can use that to dial into the phone um, to the conference as well too. So they don't have to have even access to um, the internet. So there's your shareable link as well. So if I go to the next one that's where we get a lot of the functions. So you can actually if you find that you have a low bandwidth for example you can actually change it so it's not in high def. Um, you can view full screen uh, you can start a live stream. So for example, you can connect to YouTube Live and you can stream out your web conference. You can start recording and we'll save it locally. You can share a YouTube video. So what's handy about this one is you take a web, the YouTube uh, URL and you paste it into the box and you can actually uh, share a YouTube video between everybody on the video conference. It's kind of a handy thing for students. You can actually watch a video together. You can also click on open share document. It will create an etherpad document. Etherpad is a very bare bones uh, collaborative document. Everybody would be able to then go in and uh, make changes to it at the same time. Um, then going down, you also have some things about feedback and all that type of stuff. Um, in the settings, you can actually also change if you want to take switch cameras uh, or change your microphone, you can do that as well too. Um, so a lot of functions there. One of the things that um, people ask about is that in the video conference, um, if somebody comes on and they're not, they're being disruptive or whatever, you can actually kick them out as well too. Um, so you'd be able to take care of that problem. So I'm just going to show you how that works on the phone. So I have the app um, here and I'll be able to show you in a moment how this works. So once they open up the app, uh, they just enter in the room name. So I've already set up this one. So I would just click on this and it's going to connect. And now what you'll see, I'm going to mute myself, is you'll be able to see what's going on as well. And you can actually on the app, you can switch uh, if you want to switch to a different camera, for example, and you want to switch it around to the other camera, you can do that. Um, and you can also switch off the video and so forth. So there it is in the side-by-side -side mode. In the non-side-by-side -side mode, you would just have the main person speaking. Uh, you can click on whoever is the person that's speaking, and it can actually change to that person. So I could switch it to me, for example, um, but 
the side by side works very well if you're doing a video conference with people. And then of course I can hang up. And then once I do that, it goes back to just being a video like this. So that's Jitsi. It's super simple to work with. Uh, works with laptops, works with desktops, works with Android, works with iOS. Um, with Android and iOS, you just need the free app. No registration required on any of those devices, and you'll be able to have a, a live uh, and a live conference, which you can actually put a password and you can save. Uh, you, like you can record it, you can live stream it. There's just so many functions to Jitsi. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you're interested in more of these videos, you can also subscribe. Thank you. Bye.